Thank you so much, Randy. Well, the pandemic put a pause on a lot of our uh, daily routines and activities, but it did not put a pause on the need uh, for blood donation. So we have Joe Zidlow joining us now with American Red Cross, and they are reaching out to people to let you guys know they are in dire need of donations. So good morning to you. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. And my pleasure. So first off, tell me what you guys are seeing at the American Red Cross. Yeah, so actually we, we've seen about a 12% demand over the last three months uh, as to previously from, from last year uh, of more blood products. I think uh, more trauma situations are happening. Elective surgeries that may have been paused last summer are people are going back and doing that, feeling a little more safer doing that. Um, and so, and also organ transplants. So those combination of factors, in addition to the summer where we normally have some shortages because we don't have blood drives at schools and we do about 20% of our drives there, it uh, has caused for uh, you know, some more dire situation for us. Uh, for anybody who may normally donate blood and they have some concerns about uh, the COVID-19 situation and concerns about coming in to do that, uh, what would you say to those people to kind of get them to come in and uh, continue to donate? Now, whether you're vaccinated or unvaccinated, it is safe to donate. Again, uh, for the vaccinated folks, if you've, uh, you know, you've had a, you know which type of vaccination you've gotten, Moderna, <laughs> Pfizer, there's no deferral date. You can come in the next day if you feel good. If you haven't been, uh, uh, haven't been vaccinated, want to make sure you feel healthy. That's the most important thing. You feel good. If you don't if you feel like you might be coming down with something or sick or whatever, we ask that you wait till you feel better. We still have some of our safety procedures uh, yes, what in, in way too. Yeah, like? yeah, we do. We do that. And of course, you know, uh, in any blood drive that we have in the city and the county, we're following the local guidance. So now masks are required for unvaccinated and vaccinated folks. So all of us will be wearing them again. We've got social distancing, hand sanitizer, wipe downs of the beds, extra time. So we're trying to make sure we, we keep it safe. So you all have an upcoming opportunity uh, for people to donate blood. Yeah, yeah, plenty of opportunities. One in particular coming up in August, too, is okay. our Lifesaver blood drives. Those are annual drives. We talked about it here in, in years past on, on Fox 2. And it's just a good way for you to come out during the summer during these severe shortages and donate. Uh, people can go to redcrossblood.org or through our blood donor app and uh, enter the sponsor code Lifesavers. And you can find several opportunities there in the St. Louis area and Metro East. All righty, so definitely no reasons to be worried or uh, hesitant about continuing to give that. Uh, no, you know what? Put it, put it this way. You'd want that blood available for someone. If you needed it or a loved one, you'd want that to be there. So we want to make sure that we avoid it. Last year, ironically enough, during the pandemic, we didn't have severe shortages because mm -hmm. people were continuing to come out and make blood donation essential. This has kind of gone back to pre-pandemic where everybody's enjoying the summer. We're just asking, take that day out and come and donate blood if you're eligible. All right, thank you, Joe, so much thank for you. joining us. You all, if you would like to hear that interview again for that information on when this opportunity is, just visit our website, fox2now.com.